Greetings, Messiah Church family. On this 17th day of January, Wednesday, January 17th, is when we send out the, the weekly updates. We send them on Wednesday. And greetings to you in this middle of the month of January. And you know what that means for me? I don't know what that means for you, but that means for me that there's only about two months left of winter. <laughs> I am not a big winter fan. I am a huge spring fan. And so I, uh, I await with expectation uh, getting to spring. So the middle of January brings that to my mind halfway through January and uh, two more months of winter to go. This past Sunday uh, in our worship experience together, we um, experienced the John Wesley Covenant Renewal Service. And I pray that for those of you who were with us and th those of you who listened or watched online that the uh, Covenant Renewal Service was a blessing and a challenge to you. And I pray that we all remember those words that were spoken and the challenges to our faith that were spoken, especially in the, with the context of the word covenant, our covenant with God. God is faithful in his part of the covenant and we are called to be faithful in our part of the covenant with God through Jesus Christ. And uh, I really appreciated uh, leading us through that, being a part of that, and um, the words from the heart of John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist movement, um, many moons ago in England. Uh, those words and his heart were uh, very much a part of our service on Sunday, and I appreciated that, and I hope you did too. This Sunday, January 21st, we will be talking about our faith. The message will be based on the 11th chapter of the book of Hebrews in the New Testament, which some people refer to as the Hall of Fame of Faith, uh, where uh, a number of biblical characters are mentioned and uh, their faith is described and heralded as something that we can all appreciate. So we will <clears throat> be looking at our faith, what it is, how it works in our lives, what our faith activates in us and through us to others, um, and related to that, what our faith accomplishes for Christ and the kingdom of God. So that will be our subject for this Sunday. As far as <clears throat> any announcements go in this uh, weekly update, I just wanted to mention that uh, we had those meetings that I talked about Last week, everyone but one that I talked about in last week's midweek update, our SPRC met and began their very important work uh, for 2024. Our trustees met and chose their president for the year, and uh, that president of the trustees will once again for this year be Sharon Weller. And Sharon, we appreciate you very much and your hard work and the work of the trustees. The choir is underway now, and we had our first finance meeting for 2024 and uh, one of the things that was addressed was uh, looking at the final numbers for 2023 and we had a good financial year and thanks be to God and thank you to all of you who faithfully give financially to the mission and the ministry of Messiah Church. Thank you so much. Uh, your faithful giving made 2023 uh, a good and solid year and we enter 2024 on a good financial uh, solid basis. Uh, there was no church council uh, uh, yet. We're going to uh, reconvene the church council at some future point in the next couple of weeks. Uh, our council chair, Harold Barnes, uh, is struggling with some complications from his recent knee surgery. So please keep Harold in your thoughts and your prayers. One announcement for the upcoming time for the next week, the Saturday morning men's group, which usually meets at Select Diner at 7.30 in the morning for Saturday morning breakfast, uh, will be meeting at KMJ Diner this Saturday and probably the next two or three Saturday mornings. So 7.30 KMJ Diner for the next couple of Saturdays at least as Select Diner is uh, going through some renovations. And uh, of course, our devotional time will be back here at the church at 
So men, please make note of that. So again, as far as prayers go, uh, please keep Harold in your thoughts and prayers. Also, Ann Crawford recovering from a recent surgery. And there are others as well that we need to keep in our thoughts and prayers. And I would like to do that now to end our uh, weekly update for this time uh, and with prayer. So let's do that. Let's pray. Lord, we do pray for Harold. Please be with him and the doctor who is working with him in regards to these complications from the surgery. And we pray for healing for Harold. We also pray for healing and reduction of pain for Ann Crawford. And we pray that you would bless her recovery and may it be, may it be a speedy one. We also lift to you this day, Lord. Uh, we continue to lift Linda Dickinson to you and Fran Norton. And we pray for Jean Reif and Doreen Holtry. We lift Rich Hurst to you. Also, we pray for Pearl Mackin and Mary Jane Bachman and Ann Crawford and uh, Lisa Kemp. We lift all of them to you, Lord, entrusting them to your care and praying for your grace and help in their time of need. And as we um, go through each day now of this winter season, help us, Lord, to remember you and to keep you in our thoughts and help us to um, practice our devotional lives with a full and robust heart that we may be connected to you closer and consequently able to bless our family members, our friends, our neighborhood, and our community with your love and grace. Thank you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. See you Sunday. <laughs>